We've been thinking about this event since way before last Christmas and it's fantastic to stand here in the cold and remember all the testing that we did during the hot summer months and the, there's been a huge team of people involved. We've had literally every single team at Hampton Court has been involved. It's been an amazing team effort and there's also been a huge team of artists and crafts people working with Wild Rumpus um, who are an award-winning outdoor arts event producer. Um, they've been working for months to create the displays that you can see. But the palace is such an historic site, it's really important to us to protect it. So we wanted to create something beautiful, but we've worked really hard to make sure that everything that we've created protects the palace and is structurally sound, which is obviously really important when you're installing some really large scale things into a, a really historic site. Lots of the installations ended up being a little bit challenging due to um, Storm Barra who hit during install this week. So we have um, some uh, a moonlit ball where we have nine uh, rotating dancers um, who rotated perhaps a little bit more viciously than they would have done otherwise due to the wind. <laughs> Um, most of the um, installations are Wild Rumpus productions, so we um, have a team of makers. We also work with a huge range of freelancers and volunteers. We have a big kind of artist development program. Um, so we've worked with probably kind of 20 to 30 different artists um, under the Wild Rumpus umbrella to create all the different elements we're working on here. And we're just completely kind of um, bewitched, I suppose, by the by the story behind it, but also just by the beauty of it and the intricacy and all the different elements of it. And so we started talking about, oh, perhaps there was a clockmaker's assistant and maybe there are some secrets behind the clock that are a bit more universal and a bit more kind of grander than um, there might be kind of in day to day life. And I guess it kind of just snowballed out from there and we, yeah, kind of created this whole universe, I suppose. So the huge letters you can see behind me, which say we are all made of stardust, come back to the imagined fairy story that we've spun around the astronomical clock, which according to our story runs on stardust. <laughs> 